Welcome to another freezing episode of the 8-9 Garage. Last week when I did the work on the RS, it was 50 degrees outside. Today it is 20 degrees outside. Ridiculous. It's like 20 degrees, Alexa said, outside. As you can tell, my uh, deal's clear out there. Before we get started, let's get some heat in here. So we're getting this revved up right now. Gonna bring it up to about, I don't know, 68-ish. That's plenty. So if you remember in the last episode on the RS, we did oil filter, oil and filter trans fluid, rotated the tires, doing the same thing on the 2011 Escape today. Um, I think, and I also need to check on the brakes on this thing. The rotors uh, feel like they're a little bit warped to me. It's, uh, it just turned over 96,000 miles yesterday, so um, I think the brakes might need to be done. I think I'm just going to order some new uh, rotors for it. I did put new pads on it when we got it. We got it with about 68, 69,000 miles on it, so roughly 70,000 miles. This is the second time I'm changing the trans fluid. Uh, last time I used the Valvoline uh, Max Life. Uh, this time I'm going to go with the Motorcraft LV just because I have it and I don't have anything else that takes it, so I might as well use it up. I have, I don't know, four quarts of that, and that's about what we need to fill this thing up after changing it. I think it's roughly more like four and a half, but uh, I, I, might have, I might have five quarts. Anyway, we'll see what I got. Uh, I'm gonna let this garage warm up, go back in the house for a minute. <laughs> There's Frankie, goes to Hollywood. Little snow on Frankie there, and a flat tire. Coming out here to uh, grab a filter. There's the oil filter, 910S. Then this, uh, that's a 42793. I do believe that's a Wix in a different box. Here's what we're doing. Air filter, oil filter, that's the 910S, as you can read right there. I'm sure you can read, but I'm going to say it anyway. I only have four quarts of the LV. I, that should be enough, though. Um, and then, I, I'm a huge Valvoline fan, so that's what I'm going to go with on here. That is uh, my. That is all that I use on this car. So we're going to start out easy. Back into the rhythm. We're going to start out right there. Now, if you remember the fiasco, actually, I didn't put it all on film, but with the Yaris, it gave me quite a run. <laughs> the tabs fell off box and I had to go down and get it. It's just a really poorly designed I don't know 
worked. We're done with that. So again today, just like last week, again today we will be using the Pittsburgh set and the old Calvan 814 oil filter wrench. Uh, this here's, I don't know, what we got? 16 quart flow tool. I got the either at uh, Vato Zone or Walmart. Take this stupid panel out. There's the filter. And then on this, the drain plug is right there. Back of the pan, I should say, not the end. All right, a lot of times I forget to take this plug out. I'm not going to today. I think that this has a Thirteen mil plug on it. Yep, thirteen. Okay, this uh, this has a way of uh, shooting that way when it comes out. I usually uh, press up against this while I am uh, unscrewing it so I can just hurry and get it out of the way like so. So hold this, hold this while, you know, apply pressure down while you're unscrewing it and it usually uh, makes less of a mess I should say. Nelson there and we're done there now we can uh, get up there and put some oil in it and I think I need to get a 10 millimeter on an impact so I can get this cover out of the way so we can see what in the Sam Hill we're doing probably gonna take this uh, driver's side tire off too
these here, let me see if I can't do, it's got quite a, I could probably turn these, but they got quite a bit of life probably left in them, but I think I'm just gonna replace them. I mean, there's a nice ridge right here, nice one here. I don't know what the spec is. The back actually doesn't feel too bad, but out here, I mean, it's got ridges all the way up. It's not very smooth. I think I'm gonna replace on those. I need to take this panel out. Things are gonna be a lot easier if I get this panel out of the road. These are, these are 10 millimeter. This right here is our drain plug. Um, again, this here is the uh, 6F35 transmission, six speed. While I have it out and you are able to see up here, uh, under here is where the valve body resides, as well as all the shift solenoids and stuff like that. So if you gotta replace any of that, this whole panel here's gotta come out. Some of the newer 6F35s, by the way, have a leveling plug that is similar to, I guess it'd be similar to like the fill plug on a transfer case or a differential and it'll actually have you know you got your drain plug down there that I showed you but it, uh, it'll have a pl another plug I think it's about right here on the newer ones and you let what you do is you level the car out and take the tire off pop this plug out and let it drain and this has to be at operating temp um, so you gotta get the car up to operating temperature to do this because of the expansion of the fluid. But anyway, you pull that plug, let it drip, get down to where it's dripping, just barely stick the plug back in and you're good. Factory spec on this is approximately eight foot pounds, eight to nine. I don't remember exactly, but if you're, I guess I can get my torque wrench out. I'll get it close and then we'll go get it. That might actually be about right there anyway. We just hit 10 right there, 10's close enough. That's, she won't leak. <clears throat> so, be sure to go behind. If you're following this for yourself, be sure to go behind the ABS.
Anyway, back up top. That yellow unit right there is where we are filling this up. I actually think even on the newer ones, uh, along with that leveling plug, they made a... I think the dipstick is not in the newer one. And they actually put a cap down here on top of the trance to fill it up. This, this one here works very well for this trance. I have about 800 funnels. I got one for every occasion. Uh, you might be able to see on this, this stuff here is pretty thin as well. video I've, I've had it running pretty much the whole time uh, it'll get chopped up but I've had it running the whole the whole time we've been doing this and even with me stopping and explaining it we just went over an hour total so I mean that tells you you can do this yourself it's not it's not hard I haven't used any tools that overly expensive. In fact, this, this, uh, this Pittsburgh set is right around 40 bucks. I mean, and, and to me, as far as value is concerned, it has a lifetime warranty on it, and it comes with metric and standard stuff in it. And it's just a decent set overall. Took her for a spin, she was a little bit low. So I don't have any more of the, the LV. So I'm just adding the stuff I've used before. Put about a half a quart in it now. So after the half a quart, we are sitting about right in the middle of those cross hatches. That's exactly where I want it. So this project is done to do the finishing touches for the whole job it's a good idea to write this down 101 trance 131 because I got 90 <laughs> that should be uh, 136 
or 126, my bad. I need to fix that. I added 30 onto the 101 instead of the 96, my bad. I'm gonna have to go back and change that. All right, now we got it right. So 30,000 on the trance, five on the oil. I don't know what in the Sam Hill I was doing there. Right? That is the finishing touches. Besides the fact that we need to go in through here. Oops. Go to setup, I think. Oil life, 21%. See, it had about 5,500 to 6,000 miles on it. And it still says 21%. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not liking that Ford. So hold reset. To get to that uh, oil life, you hit the setup. Hit setup twice. And then it'll tell you hold reset to make it new. We'll do that again just because and it reset it. I don't really like it. You can use it if you want, but uh, that's how you do it if you want to. Thank you muchly for watching. Please like the video, share it if you want, if you know someone that could benefit from it. Uh, that would be appreciated. And also, subscribe. It's gonna be down right here. Subscribe button, it's red. It says subscribe. You just do the old click a doodle on it, and there you are. And up, up this way is a bell. Click that bell, you will be notified every time a guy posts a video. And hopefully you're finding my content somewhat uh, usable. <laughs> uh, this is how I roll, this is how I do things. Uh, it's not always perfect, it's not always uh, probably by the book, so to speak, but it works. And you know, I keep on trucking, and I hope to uh, see you guys around soon. By the way, I just noticed I'm wearing this hat for the second video. Thanks, Rick, for the hat. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to have to do a spill on that at some point. Rick is a really good dude. Um, hooked me up with some hats, and it's very warm. Works good in this 20 degree weather although that thing is keeping me nice and warm in here probably a little bit too warm actually anyway hope that wasn't too much noise for you today uh, with the furnace running there take care so long have a great week bye bye